Wake up! Our children are paving the way. Come to your senses. This could be the new waking day. And I hope so. I know more and more people are uh, coming to the senses and using the senses to figure out that they're not on a spinning ball. It's bloody obvious, really. It's so obvious that um, it makes me want to bang me fist <sighs> on the desk. But I don't do that. But I'm tempted. It would just sound terrible, I think. Um, yeah. There's been some fantastic stuff done recently. You know, that the more people look into this, and um, I, I can't really, I must confess that I don't really do much... Um, you know, experimentation, and I wish I could have the time to do more. Perhaps when I finish what I'm doing, then I will. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping that when I finish what I'm doing, people will have come to the senses and um, buried the ball because it stinks. I can, you know, whoo, smell it from here. It's, it's dead. Its rotting carcass is infecting. The brains of the people who still believe in it. Um, woo, my asthma. So, <clears throat> so if you're still one of these misled, misguided, ignorant, and ill-educated people who believe, because that's all it is, belief. That you are clinging to a spinning ball, travelling at um, untold speeds, at least a million and a half miles per hour, through the vacuum of um, infinite space, which is, again, it's total nonsense. There cannot be a vacuum next to our air. It just does, you know, it's just scientifically impossible, thank you. Unless you want to actually demonstrate it, then I'm not um, on board with that shit. But one of the real problems that um, that the um, that people face who are still, you know, in the zombie um, mode is they they're in a um, I wouldn't call it an ever-decreasing de circle, but I suppose it is really, because the, ultimately it's death. And they will have lived all their lives and um, lived a lie. And I think that's very sad. It's very sad I'm, when I'm thinking of my grandparents and uh, you know all of my relatives and friends who are now dead and never even heard the possibility of the truth. But don't be one of those people. Don't die in ignorance. You know, um, however much life we have left, make sure that you're one of the smart ones, one of the people who did actually do the legwork or the brain work, or or you cast aside the the parasite that's that is. Um, Modern media, I suppose. Because all they want is you for you to um, either spend your money um, or get hooked on something that isn't um, very, very good for you. And it, and it doesn't have to be hey, you know, hard drugs. It could be something quite... Um, well, innocent at first, and then becomes has a darker side as you can't do without it. I know some people are addicted to television, and that's it's a real bad one, real bad. Get rid of it. 
I know it's easy for me to say that, isn't it? Get rid of it, get rid of it. I was um, a real telly fan. But, you know, I was one of these people who would come in, switch it on, no matter what bullshit was being um, transmitted. I would just, um, it would be on. And then you kind of subconsciously take in all that uh, nonsense that the, um, that, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing that you invited into your own home and the control that it has on the human psyche is, um, it's immense. And since I've got rid of mine, I can honestly say my mind is much freer. It's It thinks now for itself. Well, it, it's not influenced, well, should, I, should I really say, by that um, particular machine. And um, just recently, I have also lost my radio. When I say I lost it, I, I don't mean uh, I can't find it. I mean the batteries that um, that powered it don't do it anymore, and they're um, they're eighty pounds each. So <laughs> I won't be buying any more. Um, I'll just do without because it's it's been about a week now. And I, honestly, I don't miss it at all. Not at all. I thought I would, but I don't. And that's quite comforting, really. You know, what can you do without? What, how, um, how would your life be if you could get rid of all the, those things you, you lean on or you, um, you tend to rely on as maybe entertainment or, um, um, even more than that, it could be that you, you get some almost friendship from these devices. You know, it feels like another member of the family or, or something in the room, but it, it really isn't. And, and everything that's broadcast is, well, it's not... It's not just simply people making programs and, and um, well, okay. Now, in during the World Service, which I used to listen to on and um, um, through the um, night hours, there was this interesting program that um, I must have been sort of half asleep, but I remember listening to it, and it was um, Karen B. You may know Karen B. And she had be she was um, being interviewed, and there were there were actually um, the subject was um, uh, uh, conspiracy theories. You know what a terrible term that is. That's another term that's been um, well, not it's if if you are looking into a uh, so-called conspiracy theory, then you you must have something lacking up here. And that's what they're trying to portray in this particular programme. And, of course, they chose the Flat Earth. And um, Karen B., you know, I, I think she did um, an OK job in, in what she said. I mean, I understand that the editing process, you can do almost anything and make people say all sorts of things that, uh, okay, the words come out of the mouth, but the context could be changed quite easily. And she, she put a case forward quite well, I thought. But then that was the sort of first bit of the programme. And in the second bit of the programme, they just um, said, now, what makes people um, believe this when it's quite obviously 
a spinning ball. Um, yeah, that it, it's always going to come to that conclusion at the end. So, okay, yeah, it was mentioned. It's on air. Many, many people would have heard it. But it, still, it was still treated with ridicule. And that's not progressive, in my opinion. And unless you can have the editing control of the, of the, um, the finished product, the program that is going to be uh, broadcast, I wouldn't agree to any of that shit. You, you would never get me uh, in front of a microphone for the, with the BBC, um, for the BBC, um, unless I had the control. They would never give you or me the control, so it's not going to happen. I don't think they would use the actual device called the television or the radio to um, affect the change in that way. I don't know. I might be wrong about that. But initially, people should get rid of their televisions because that's the worst offender. Because it shows you pictures of space. And we've never been. We, could, we can't go. It's not there. But they will keep on showing that bullshit. So how how can you have faith in something that lies to you from the corner of your room? You see, it's 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 an evil thing. You know, evil again is what is evil, but it doesn't do you any good. Let's put it that way. You should save yourself the license fee and get rid of the bloody thing. Anyway. I, I, you know, I'm not blowing smoke in, up anybody's ass, but if if you haven't seen the latest um, Beyond the Imaginary Curves with Dell and Gal, um, they are extraordinarily good, and it it just the, these people they tell you it straight. There's no beating around the bush, just straight up and down facts and there's no um, fluff there's no tittle tattle it's just there you go and if you can't accept it you're wrong up here anyway I I should go now um, I'm just going to relax a bit now and um, it's only something like, oh, it's just gone six o'clock, so it's, and it's obviously black dark outside. Can't do anything. If I actually, I've got a light that I could use, but if I do that, it's just like, hello, <laughs> here I am. So I'm not going to be doing that either, which is a bit frustrating because um, I've got lots to do. But anyway, you don't want to know about that. And I hopefully will see you. Um, well, probably before next year, but uh, it's it's coming for us, isn't it? Well, let's hope it's a, a good one. <laughs> All right, see you later.